Alrighty, pretending here back with another Honkai Star video. And today I'm here with the full preform guide for Yunli, as 2.4 is just around the corner, just being a little under two weeks away. So just like the other preform guides, it's going to be going over the general amounts you do need for her, including books, credits, common materials, trace materials, ascension materials, echo war, all that kind of stuff. And we'll also be giving some relic recommendations so you can get something ready. This video will not be covering for her light gun, so just keep that in mind. This is going to be counting from level 1 to level 80 and maxing out the trace and the trace tree. And yep, that's all I gotta say before I get into the video. Drop a like, drop a sub, hit the bell icon for more videos like this, and let's get straight into the video. So starting it off with the general stuff you do need. Credits, you do need about 3.9 million in order to get everything max. Purple books wise, you do need about 290 to get it from level 1 to level 80. And since she is a 5 star, just like any other 5 star, you do need a total of 8 tracks of destiny for her traces. For the common materials, she'll actually be using the Zhanzhou materials right here. We finally are moving away from the Panacoda materials. It's so weird not needing these ones, but if you haven't played for a while, you definitely have a bunch of these laying around, especially since we haven't really been using these. But even if you for some reason don't have enough, you can just get some by doing some assignments starting now, or just going out and killing the enemies to farm these because it is pretty easy to get these. And for the amounts, you will need a total of 56 of the green ones, 71 of the blue ones, and 73 of the purple ones. For the Stagnant Shadow Ascension Material, she will be using the IPC Work Permit. You will need a total of 65 of these to get her to max level. For the Trace Materials, as she is Destruction, she will not be using this one here, but she will actually be using the ones we got for the Panacone update. So make sure you do go ahead and farm these ones and not the other ones, otherwise you will be making a pretty big mistake. And for the amounts, you need a total of 18 of the green ones, 69 of the blue ones, 139 of the purple ones. And as we know, traces are absolutely cancer to farm, and with there only being a little under two weeks, you definitely want to get on this. I definitely have to get on this too, so make sure to definitely knock this out as soon as possible. But the Echo of War, she will actually be using the one from the Fantilia boss, and she will need a total of 12 of these to max out her traces. It has been a while since anyone's been using any of these unless you've been building other characters, so pretty easy to get this, and even if you don't have enough, you can knock that out pretty quickly as we get 3 attempts a week. So, definitely get this out of the way so you don't have to worry about this if you are looking to max out our traces as fast as possible. And now for some basic relic recommendations. The best that you can just sort of go ahead and farm for her right now is actually one right here. Finally, someone using the Wind Soaring set it isn't useless, it is actually going to be her best in slot. As her ultimate does make the enhanced version count as ultimate damage, this is a very very good set for her and will be her best for the damage output. There's also a bonus or I guess double drops for relics coming up so that's going to be another good thing you can do. And this is another one that is going to be fine to use it on especially if you do have Boot Hill or Firefly as the other set is going to be their best in slot so you are getting a pretty good chance here. If you don't have one of the two then obviously less unless you maybe use Zhui or Zhui Yi I don't I still don't know how to say her name. But if you use one of those three, then you can benefit off this, but her best in slot is going to be this one, so if you want to get the best relics possible for her, you're going to be wanting to farm this one. And then the other fine option you can use for her if you do just have pieces laying around is the physical set. Since it's when you are attacking or get hit, and for the most part, Yunli is going to be doing counters, so it is very easy to actually stack this up, and again, the physical bonus, can the attack percent, which she is going to benefit a ton from. She can make use of this full set pretty easily, and also benefits her a lot. Problem is, is the fact that this now has less value unless you're doing two piece, two piece of brick effect on one of your characters. But this is a less desirable set, especially since this two piece is the same as this one right here. So you are better off just farming these. The only reason I'm mentioning this is because people probably have some physical pieces laying around. And if you do and you want to use that and you might want to delay farming the best in slot, that is completely fine because this is also going to be really good. So, again, if you do have pieces just laying around for this, you can definitely go ahead and use that. And now, for the planet ornaments, the best one is actually going to be the new Durant set. And this is not even needing to run another follow-up character with her. So since the way to stack it does include her because it doesn't stay only other allies, it does also count her. It's very easy to stack this up because her whole playstyle is going to be based off counters and her counter is considered a follow-up attack. So you just need to get 5 counters which is very easy to get, stacking this up and if you are running her with another follow up character such as Aventurin because Aventurin is going to be really good with her, then it's even easier to stack up and when you do have it fully stacked up you get a 25% increase to follow up damage which is really good and a 25% crit damage increase which is also very 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 good. So overall the best planner ornaments you can get right now is from the Durant set. 
Another one you can do is Inner Sosoto as it does give you 8% crit rate, so helping you with some crit rate is very nice. And then also giving you a fall off damage increase because the ultimate damage, I think this can sort of scale with it. Mainly due to the fact that the other is considered ultimate damage. I don't actually know how that works, I don't think she benefits from both, but... Even if she only benefits from the fall off damage one, that's gonna be really good because it's a whole 15% increase. And then also on top of that, the 8% increase to crit rate is very nice. So if you have pieces laying around for Inner Sosoto, then that's another option. And then if you definitely have pieces because you don't want to go out your way to farm this, is just Space Young Station. The 12% increase to attack. Sadly, the 120 speed is probably going to be less likely to get since you won't be using a speed boot or anything on her. So that sort of becomes more difficult, but it's just a nice slot in if you don't have anything while you do farm for one of the other ones. Because then if you don't have anything, it is what it is. What can you do? And for the main sets, you kind of want to look out for on the sets. For the body, you mainly want to look out for your crit rate, crit damage as she is a general DPS. For the boots, you definitely want to look out for attack percent. As I said, you don't really want speed on her. Some speed could help, but you don't really need to look out for much. Since she is just like a set up the counter and go unit similar to Clara where you just really don't need speed. And then on the orb, you're going to be looking for physical damage percent. And on the rope, you want to run attack percent. And then some stats to look out for, again, just your generic DBS stuff. So crit rate, crit damage, and then pass that attack percent. And as I mentioned, some speed can help, but it's not really anything crazy. Just getting some could help on the long run, but once again, not needed. And then some break effect could help on that when some enemies are weak to physical. That could also help, but mainly crit rate, crit damage, attack percent. And yeah, that is all you're going to be needing to know for Yunli, what you need to farm for her right now. Now just going through a quick reiteration. Credits-wise, you need about 3.9 million. Books-wise, you need about 290 purple books. Just like any other 5-star, you do need 8 Tracks of Destiny. She will be using these materials right here for the common materials. You will need a total of 56 of the green ones, 71 of the blue ones, and 73 of the purple ones. The Staggered Shadow Ascension material she will be using is the IPC Work Permit, and you do need a total of 65 of these ones. We'll just get this one out the way first because it's pretty easy to get. You just need about a day-ish of runs, so definitely we'll just knock that out of the way. Actual trace material, she'll be using the ones from the Penacone Destruction one. So once again, not these ones, but these ones. And you will need a total of 18 of the green ones, 69 of the blue ones, and 139 of the purple ones. So get the essential material out of the way and then get on farming this because it's going to take you a while. For the Echo of War, she will be using the one from the Fantasia boss fight. You need a total of 12 of those. And then some, again, general relic recommendations. The best in slot for her four piece is going to be the Wind Soaring set. If you have some pieces laying around, you could also do the physical set. Those are two really good options you can do. And then for the ornaments, the Durin set is going to be your best one. If not Durin, you can just do Inner Sosoto. That works fine too. And then past that Space Young Station, well, this one's going to be weaker on her because you can't get the 120 speed for the most part. That is still an option you can do. And then for the main stats you want to focus on, crit rate, crit damage on the body, attack percent on the boots, and then for the orb you want physical, and on the rope you want attack percent. And yeah, that is the pre-farm guide for Yunli. Let me know if you guys are going to be pre-farming for her, if you're going to be summoning for her. Me personally, I'm probably going to be going for the E2, because her E1 and E2 are really good. And she just looks like a really fun unit to use, so I got a base relic set ready for her. And then I gotta get on farming the traces and all that, so that's gonna take a while. So uh, right as I finish up on this, I'm gonna get straight to that. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. Once again, let me know if you're gonna be something for her, if you're excited for her, anything like that. And yeah, that's all I gotta say. Peace out.